Hi, my name is Rob Scott from UC Today News. Hope you're doing well. So today I'm joined by Paul Harrison from Evolve IP, and he's going to be sharing his perspective on the cloud communications marketplace and the channel opportunities that lay ahead. So stay tuned for a really interesting session. Welcome, Paul. How are you doing? I'm good, Rob. Yeah, good to be here. Thanks very much for having me. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for joining me. Good to see you. Um, I suppose a good place to start before we dive in is uh, just do a quick introduction, Paul. Just tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do at Evolve IP, please. Yeah, sure, Rob. So, yeah, Paul Harrison. So I'm the MD for Europe, Middle East and Africa for Evolve IP. I've uh, been doing this for a number of years. So Evolve IP acquired my company back in 2018 and since then been working sort of internationally on a hosted UC offering uh, across the board. So I'm also in charge of white label business within Evolve IP. So that's basically selling solutions through partners that take our solutions to market. Some of those are in verticals, some of those are direct to end customers, um, but that's how we're growing the business today. So it's exciting times and uh, glad to be here, Rob. Yeah, thanks for joining me. And, and absolutely, it's exciting times. It's been another big year for the industry. So, I mean, how are things going at Evolve IP? Can you give us a bit of an update? Yeah, I think um, it's uh, visibility in the market. We thought 2021 was uh, an interesting year, uh, exciting year, but also a challenging year. Um, but what we've done is learned since uh, 2021 has come to an end, that the market opportunity for a, a business like Evolve IP was around about 8 to 9% growth. Uh, in 21 in terms of user base and everything else and uh, early days but our figures look like we grew about 16 percent in 2021 so double digit doubled the growth and the, and the perspective so it's worked out a really good year uh, we've seen a lot of uh, change in 21 um, from employees coming in into the business and growing the team to also new partners on board in and our solutions being taken to different different areas so i think in 2021 we deployed into about 30 new countries. So places like the Philippines, South Africa, uh, Singapore, uh, China, uh, of all places, and also Egypt. So our solutions now are working you know, across many, many countries. And that's what 2021 has really brought us. It's that unified communications across the globe. That's fantastic. Uh, unifying a, a unified communications business. And uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. that global expansion is fantastic to hear as well. Well yeah. done. And I mean, in terms of the pandemic, I mean, it accelerated cloud communications adoption and deployments, at, you know, at a huge rate of knots. I mean, but what is the kind of current state of the cloud communications market from your perspective? It's now it's a time I think people are making longer term strategies. So back in well, sort of March, April 2020, a lot of businesses, our customers uh, pivoted to a new technology, a new way of working uh, that didn't involve the office, the traditional office communications. So how can they work from home? That was more a stick and plaster, if you want, in terms of trying to make sure business can be maintained. Now, uh, a lot of businesses are looking at that as a longer term strategy. So what do I do long term? Is this the right solution for me moving forward? How do I change the uh, the customer journey into my business that used to come in via the business and my office and then, then reach me? Now it's through Teams or WebEx or whatever that might be. So we're involved really in the thick of that. So we're trying to make sure that we're the trusted advisor, if you want, to, to our partners and say, look, there's choices um, you know, and not one choice is always the right choice. So having the flexibility and in, in the, uh, the options around which way you might want to go is brilliant. So we may want to pivot again you know, when COVID's over. Let's change again and, and, and work in a different way. So we need to make sure that we're providing the technology to our partners to, to adopt that. So it's been a learning curve. Um, I think we've all been struggling to be relevant uh, within this new world in space, and Evolve IP is no different. You know, we've got great solutions, great, great um, uh, detail around the products we offer. But until, unless we can get that in front of the partner and get them to understand what we can do, um, it's critical to make sure that we're we're relevant and seen as a is the right partner to work with. So yeah, it's been it's been exciting. So I think uh, everyone's settling down now. So we're just in a position now to make sure we're we're communicating and talk to them about their longer term decisions rather than just more of a, a stick and plaster. Yeah, that's really interesting. I mean, change is is absolutely a key word there, and, and relevance, I suppose, is another one. Um, mm. lo, lo, so much happening, but as in a changing market, yeah, absolutely, having to remain relevant is is absolutely key. So and let's talk about that for a moment. I mean, what growth opportunities lie ahead for for channel partners? 
Well, it's massive. Um, the good thing about uh, having market data and travel uh, information as well is the actual the opportunities ahead of us, not behind us. And I know that's that might seem strange, and because looking at me, I'm, I've obviously been doing this a long time. I've been in host of communications a number of years. So you start to think that we're, we've gone to that saturation point, but not at all. You know, the early adopters have adopted. Yeah. Uh, and basically beyond that, you got sort of the, the sort of middle sort of enterprise type, type customers have adopted technology as well. But there's still so much ahead of us opportunity. So we see there's probably about 13 and a half million users just in the UK still not on hosted UC that are still open for our partners yeah. to go after. So a huge market. And, with, and a lot of those users are in the 250 seat and above type enterprises. Enterprises that have been nervous to adopt more of a cloud communication strategy, or they can't find a partner that can work with them across not only the UK, but maybe pan-European or pan-global. So find a partner that can deliver one-stop solution across you know, those uh, different regions. So, so we're seeing that as an opportunity. And um, yeah, so I think that's how it's changing. Uh, the market is exciting. As long as we've got the right solutions and we're agnostic um, to those um, market leading collaboration solutions, I add value to those solutions. We've been in a great place and that's what we're trying to help our partners do. So they can actually go to a customer and say, you want to go down the Teams route? Fine. You're not sure. You want to go down the WebEx route? Maybe. You want to actually have a SIP endpoint on your desk? and maybe collaboration, fine. And you want to work internationally, fine. So we just need to make sure we can tick those boxes and uh, be in the right position to make sure that comes across. That's good. Well, that's really interesting, and especially about the numbers you mentioned there from Cavell Group. So hats off to Cavell you know, for their research. I mean, in terms mm -hmm. of um, you know, what that looks like, I mean, that's, that sounds like a huge opportunity for channel partners in the UK, especially um, you know, to, to, to sell uh, UC or UCAS um, services. So, I mean, the deals aren't done. Obviously, there's, there's millions of users there. Pre-pandemic, we, we were reporting something around 20% of the marketplace were, were in the cloud for their telephony. I mean, what does that number translate to now? Does that, do we think it's kind of half of the market now nowadays is adopted? Not quite, yeah, not quite half. It's about 35 to 40%. So, wow. so we, we should see by 2025, somewhere around about 80, 70 to 80% penetration. And then, then what you call the laggards at the end would actually be the ones that uh, just sitting on the fence, not actually making that decision. Um, so, yeah, so the market's 35 to 40 percent saturated at the moment. So still a lot to go after. Um, the Netherlands market and some other Western European markets are very similar to the UK as well. So we're not dissimilar um, in, the, in terms of the penetration. There's a lot of providers in the UK as, as well as across Europe that are providing those services but there's still a lot of opportunity to go after and which is exciting. And then I think the key thing is it's, it's more the higher end functionality. Businesses want more for their communications. They want more collaboration. They want to improve that customer journey into their business. They want to know who's calling, when they're calling, how they're calling, how they can be reached. And they want to come in by different ways, not just audio, you know? So they want to come in by different mediums, you know? So chat, messaging and so on. So there's, there's a change and how we work and how we need to work. And, and that's part of what we're, we're trying to say. And if we can remove those boundaries, because we have to know what we're good at, Evolve IP. First and foremost, we're a carrier. You know, we need to deliver a five nines carrier grade platform. We need to then deliver the voice and that critical elements, you know, make sure that works. And then we can provide the services of functionality over the top of that. So, so that's where we start from. We're a carrier. We know that's what we know and then the services and other solutions and come after that. That's great. So to summarize, it, what advice would you give channel partners looking to take advantage of the current market uh, in the UK, certainly, and maybe wider Europe? I think you know, if, you, um, if you're looking at solutions to take to market, it's, there's a wide range of providers out there, uh, and they range from very high end or high prices to very low prices. So we all talk about race to the bottom and everything else, and there's been a lot of that. But because the technology is advancing so quickly, that race to the bottom never really happens because the time we get the price down lower, we layer on more services, that pushes the price back up again. So it never really happens. So, but what we see is that you need to find a partner that has a price point somewhere sort of uh, in the in sort of the lower to, to, to mid end. That price point will be competitive enough to allow you to win the business. But that price point should also come with a lot of features of functionality because that's what it gets down to. Price is important, I'm not saying it's not.
but when it comes down to the price is actually in the right ballpark, is now tell me about your solution. What can I do for my business? And uh, and then it needs to follow up with a very advanced solution as well. So you've got to get the right price point, the right feature set, and the right functionality. And it needs to be the best of breed, right? So you know, partners that work with us, like us, because we have an open ecosystem. So we have the best of breed solutions, right down from the handset to the headset, um, to actually you know, the actual application we plug into as well. So if, if that's you know on offer, then you're very you're going to be at the table to discuss your you know, winning that business. And then it's just tweaking the price and some other functionality and T's and C's to get it across the line. So, so it's 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 quite interesting that Evolve IP in, in the Cavill report actually tells us where we fit within that competition and where we fit from a price point. And we fit exactly where we thought we fit we fit and we wanted to fit. So we're really at the competitive end, but we're at the high end in terms of features and functionality, more so than most of our competitors, because the international reach is one of the big areas. Yeah, it's really interesting. And yeah, certainly, so again, you mentioned, you know, staying relevant, being able to compete um, is, is absolutely mm. key in today's market, but lots of change, lots of opportunity. So um, I'm mean, mm. afraid that's all we've got time for, but for anyone looking to get in touch with uh, Evolve IP, what's the best way? You can uh, go to sales at evolveip.uk uh, or the website evolveip.uk and uh, contact us that way. And we'd love to hear from you, love to reach out and, uh, and love to have a conversation like this. That'd be great. Thanks very much, Rob. Absolutely. And we'll put some links in the description as well so you can click uh, straight onto Evolve IP site from there. Hey, Paul, thanks very much for sharing everything today. It's been really interesting listening to you today. And I wish you all the very best for 2022. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me. That's great. Enjoy. And thanks to everyone for watching UCTV. If you've got some good takeaways from today's session, do give us a quick mention on social and subscribe to our channel news uh, for more industry uh, insights. I'm Rob Scott from UC Today. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.